Hello my dear friends today i am going to talk about emily bronte's novel wuthering heights as we all know emily bronte is best known for her only novel wuthering heights published in the year 1847 and the novel is considered as a classic in english literature and the entire novel revolves around the two main characters catherine earnshaw and heathcliff and in this video i'm going to discuss a few questions about emily bronte the characters in detail the summary and the most important questions which are asked for many exams which was the volume of poetry published jointly by the three bronte sisters charlotte emily and annie in 1846 poems by currer ellis and action bell the pen name of charlotte is currer bell emily is ellis bell and annie is action bell Emily Bronte's only brother is Branwell Bronte and he is an English painter and writer. Bronte sisters and their brother were educated at home by Father Patrick Bronte and Aunt Elizabeth Branwell, which is the fictional North Pacific island invented by 12-year-old Emily and her younger sister Annie in 1831. The answer is Gondal and Gondal landscape is similar to Emily's native Yorkshire moors. Emily and Annie wrote stories and poems about Gondal and Emily continued writing until her death in 1848 at the age of 30 and Gondal stories were not survived but Gondal poems are the only available source. Glass Town is an original fictional land invented by Bronte sisters and Branwell. Branwell and Charlotte Bronte were the dominant players and Charlotte and Branwell branched out into Ancria, an extension of Glass Town. Emily and Annie invented their own private world of Gondal. Who among them was a great animal lover? Emily Bronte. The four children shared in creating stories about a world called Ancria, who were withdrawn from the participation of Ancria story, Emily and Annie Bronte, who said at her deathbed, no poisoning doctor near her, Emily Bronte. The novel has 34 chapters. What is the meaning of the term wuthering? It's an adjective used to describe the fierce and wild wind that blows during the storm on the moor. There are two houses in the novel, Wuthering Heights and Thrushcross Grange, which represents the two sides of life, the dark and the light sides of life. Wuthering Heights is a house located at the top of Yorkshire Moors and the weather is dark and stormy whereas Thrushcross Grange uh, the weather is bright and calm and let's see the symbolic significance of both houses and Wuthering Heights we can see the violent storm wildness and ungoverned passion whereas in Thrushcross Grange thrush is a bird known for its melodious song and a symbol of christian piety and we can see the presence of social grace civility and gentility and aristocracy in Thrushcross Grange and it is filled with positive sides of life Let's see the characters in the novel. In Wuthering Heights, the head of the family is Mr. Earnshaw and his wife is Mrs. Earnshaw. They have two children. The daughter is Catherine and Hinley is their son. And one day, Mr. Earnshaw brings an orphan into their family. His name is Heathcliff. And later, Heathcliff and Catherine love each other. Thrushcross Grange it is the official home of Mr Linton and Mrs Linton and they to have two children the daughter is Isabella and Edgar is their son Henley Earnshaw is the jealous son of Earnshaw who takes revenge on Heathcliff eventually he lost everything his family property etc and Frances is Henley's wife who died after the birth of their son Hatton Edgar is the son of Linton a country gentleman and a rival of Heathcliff and he married Catherine and their only daughter is Cathy. Heathcliff is the leading protagonist of the novel and we will discuss his character in detail. And his wife is Isabella Linton. She destroyed her entire life due to her infatuation towards Heathcliff. 
Their only son is Linton. Linton Heathcliff, a sick and a weak son of Heathcliff and Isabella. He died soon after his marriage with young Cathy. And after the death of Linton, Cathy loved and decided to marry Harton, the shy, illiterate and hard-working son of Henley and Francis. The other characters in the novel are Mr. Logwood. He is the narrator of the novel and a tenant of Thrushcross Grunge. Nellie Dean is an important character in this novel and we will discuss the character of Nellie Dean in detail. Joseph is the servant of Wuthering Heights and Zella is the housekeeper of Wuthering Heights. And Mr. Green is an advocate of Edgar and Dr. Kenneth is a local doctor. Juno is the dog of Heathcliff and Skulker, the bulldog of Linton, who attacked Catherine on her first visit to Thrushcross Grunge. Let's see a few important characters in detail. Catherine Earnshaw. She is the female protagonist of the novel, the daughter of Earnshaw and sister of Henley. She is said to have the boniest eyes, sweetest smile and lightest foot and often described as haughty. Haughty which means arrogantly superior. And that's why she is said to be wild and strong-willed. She loved Heathcliff with passion. But she craved for luxury, status and security. So that's why she married Edgar Linton. And ultimately her selfish marriage changed everyone's destiny. When she denied Heathcliff, she denied her own soul and for that she suffered and died. She died about half of the novel and remained as a ghost and a memory. Heathcliff is the leading character of the novel and he possessed all characteristics of a Byronic hero, dark, romantic characteristics. And he was both worldly and romantic and throughout the novel we can see love and hatred merged in him. He was brought to Earnshaw family as an orphan by Mr. Earnshaw from Liverpool. Mr. Earnshaw and Catherine were very fond of Heathcliff but Hindley always ill-treated him. And he was completely distracted when Catherine decided to marry Edgar. And throughout the novel, Heathcliff was haunted by his love towards Catherine. He earned everything out of his revenge towards everyone, especially towards Hinley and Edgar. And his marriage with Isabella was not out of love but out of revenge. And he emotionally tortured Isabella and Heathcliff was presented as an evil destructive character but inwardly he was not as evil as we think. Mrs. Ellen Dean or Nellie Dean played a very significant role in the novel and she was the chief narrator and through her we get an intense and dramatic version of the story. When the novel opens, Nellie was the housekeeper of Thrushcross Grunge, but she first served Wuthering Heights as the housekeeper. And through her story, the reader sees how kind, dutiful and a loyal housekeeper she was. She had sympathy towards Heathcliff and deeply loved Catherine. Nellie was a good listener and a confidant of all the protagonists, and Heathcliff shared his complete plan to Nellie. And she was a good reader. She completed reading all the books of Thrushcross Grunge. And shortly after the death of Catherine and Francis, she looked after Hutton and Cathy and she loved both the kids like her own. Let's discuss the summary of the novel. The novel begins with the famous word 1801, the year in which Mr. Lockwood came as a tenant in Thrushcross Grange. And at that time, Nellie Dean was the housekeeper of Thrushcross Grange and Lockwood decided to visit Mr. Heathcliff, his landowner at Wuthering Heights. And he was shocked to see a rough and unusual landowner, Mr. Heathcliff, and Logwood decided to stay there for a night due to heavy storm. And he spent that night in the room of dead Catherine and found many things mysterious in the room.
he had a nightmare and felt the presence of a ghost he returned to thrushcross grange but the curiosity to know more about wuthering heights was burning in him and we know the story is told through the narrator mr logwood and the fascinating story is told to him by the housekeeper nelly dean and the entire story revolved around the central character mr heathcliff and here is the story Mr Earnshaw brought a homeless young orphan to Wuthering Heights. Mrs Earnshaw and the children Henley and Catherine were shocked to see him in their home. And the boy was christened and named him Heathcliff. Heathcliff and Henley had a hostile relationship where he and Catherine's relationship grew as romantic. and after the death of mr earnshaw henley became the new owner and treated heathcliff very badly he managed his time by going out with catherine into the moors and one night the pair went to thrushcross grange and catherine was beaten by a dog the linton family who were living in the thrushcross grange looked after catherine then heathcliff went back to wuthering heights and catherine returned home as a well dressed lady and heathcliff also turned clean in order to impress everyone but he was refused to participate in the christmas party heathcliff then decided to take a revenge against henley he told everything to the housekeeper nelly dean In 1778 Henley's wife Frances died after giving birth to the child Hatton. Shortly after the death of Frances Nelly looked after the child and one day Heathcliff overheard a conversation between Catherine and Nelly where Catherine accepted a marriage proposal from Edgar Linton. Heartbroken and ashamed Heathcliff flew away from Wuthering Heights but Heathcliff never heard what she repeated after that. Heathcliff now so he shall never know how i love him and that not because he is handsome nelly but because he is more myself than i am heathcliff returned to wuthering heights after 3 years as a wealthy man at first he went to grange to see catherine and he often visited grange and meanwhile isabella fell in love with heathcliff He decided to marry Isabella not out of love but out of revenge towards everyone. And Heathcliff often played gambling with Henley and defeated him many times. After their marriage, everyone in Hyde's ill-treated Isabella. One day, Heathcliff visited Catherine and they had an intense conversation about the lost love. The next day Nelly informed Heathcliff that Catherine died after giving birth to a daughter young Cathy. Isabella flew to London and gave birth to her son Linton. And Henley died and Heathcliff became the owner of Wuthering Heights. Hatton, the real owner of Heights, became the servant of Heathcliff. Heathcliff heard about the return of Linton after the death of Isabella. He pretended his love towards his son just to own the property of Thrushcross Grange. He promoted a marriage between Linton and Cathy. After the death of Edgar, Heathcliff became the owner of Grange. Linton was so weak and sick, so he died soon after their marriage. Heathcliff was haunted by the memories of Catherine. He believed that he would not turn to dust until he joined with her after the death. In 1801, Heathcliff became the owner of Hyde's and Grange. It was the time when Lockwood visited Heathcliff. In 1802, Cathy and Hatton fell in love. Heathcliff and Hathi had an argument regarding the property and then he started to hit her but he was shocked to see the presence of her mother Catherine in her eyes so he abandoned his plan of revenge against Cathy and Hatton 
Thereafter, Heathcliff turned to melancholy, sad and strange and wandered around the moors. He told Nelly that he saw an apparition and he often murmured the name of Catherine. He locked himself inside Catherine's room and died. He was buried next to Catherine and thus he reunited with his lover. Cathy taught Harton how to read and write. Thus, she changed him an educated and a polished man. They owned both Wuthering Heights and Thrushcoast Grange and they planned to marry next New Year's Day and move to Thrushcoast Grange. And here ends the story. And it's a beautiful novel and you should never miss a chance to read the novel. Wuthering Heights tells a haunting love story of Heathcliff and Catherine. And the narrator Lockwood is introduced to a world of love, hatred, revenge and supernatural occurrence. And the novel can be considered as one of the best examples of a gothic novel. Here uh, we can see the setting of the novel itself is in a gothic landscape. The novel was set in ancient mansion house in the Yorkshire Moors. The reader is moved to the dark, hostile and isolated world of the Yorkshire Moors. The Moors and the house are dark, dissolute and lonely. The novel opens in a dark and stormy night which gives a gothic effect. And the title of Wuthering is an adjective of atmospheric tumult. In Wuthering Heights, we get a hostile atmosphere and it gets worsened in the presence of the protagonist of the novel, Heathcliff. It is a story of the supernatural. The supernatural may take the form of ghosts, nightmares, etc. And supernatural events happen in the beginning of the novel and continued till the end. When the narrator Lockwood was forced to spend a night at Wuthering Heights due to snowstorm, he experienced the presence of the ghost of Catherine. And after the death of Heathcliff, the servant Joseph claimed that people saw Heathcliff was roaming on the moors after his death. Heathcliff, the protagonist, is presented as a typical villain and hero in the novel. And he is the perfect gothic villain. He reached Wuthering Heights as a dirty, ragged and a black child and Henley considered him as a beggarly interloper. But his deep love towards Catherine provides him a hero effect. Being deserted by Catherine, he ran away from Wuthering Heights and his dignity and prosperity after three years of exile still remained as a mystery. He carried his vengeance towards Kenley, Edgar and Isabella throughout his life and Heathcliff lust for revenge and his unending love with Catherine which reflected himself as a villain and hero. Violence is another feature of a gothic novel and induced terror can be seen in the novel. Here Heathcliff was obsessed with an idea of destroying Henley and Edgar Linton. His marriage with Isabella Linton explored his brutalities as a terrific husband. And shortly after the marriage, Isabella wrote a letter to Nelly which revealed a worrying picture of Wuthering Heights. And the death of Henley too brings us a suspicion of the violence of Heathcliff. Which are the names inscribed repeatedly on the ledge of the bed of Catherine? Catherine Earnshaw, Catherine Linton and Catherine Heathcliff. Catherine has written the whole story in a sermon as a diary entry. Lockwood reads a diary that belongs to whom? It's Catherine Earnshaw's diary. The story is told through the entries of Lockwood's diary. What kind of a countryside surrounds Wuthering Heights and Thrusco's Grange? Moorland. Which natural element would the author compare the novel to? A storm. To which Shakespearean hero does Lockwood compare himself to after Joseph and Heathcliff accuse him of stealing? King Lear. Who is Mr. Green? The lawyer of Edgar. According to Heathcliff, when will Catherine's body decompose? When Heathcliff joins her in death. Who paid a visit to Elder Catherine's and Heathcliff's grave after hearing the entire story? Mr. Lockwood. 
in the novel who speaks in a gruff nearly an intelligible accent hotton earn show what is inscribed above the entrance of wuthering heights hotton earn show 1500 which character says the word i am heathcliff catherine earn show who says i will not exchange for thousand lies my culture here heathcliff tells to nelly let me conclude this video if you find this class is useful please share with your friends do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more updates thank you